Hey everybody, so welcome back to Jim Bob's Garden. So today what we're going to talk about is what to plant in April. So April is pretty much the last month of really good solid planting time we get until the fall comes back around. So with that being said, now's the time to get in as much as you can before we lose that planting window. All right, and the reason for that is basically if I start to plant in May, um, there's a few things that we can plant and I'll go over when it comes to be that time. But most of what we um, are gonna wanna plant just isn't gonna make it through the hot summer months. So that gives us about, well, I mean the hot summer really starts in June. So basically we got about two months until the, the heat really starts and where it gets difficult to, um, to actually grow some things. So I'm gonna walk you around and show you some of the things that I've got going and some of the things that if you haven't got in the ground yet, you might wanna start. Now, before we walk around, let me give you the whole list so that we can just get that list out of the way. And uh, I, you know, I know some of y'all don't like to stick around for the whole video, so at least this will give you the, uh, the list up front and ahead of time. All right, so the list starts with bush beans, pole beans, cantaloupes, corn, cucumber, eggplant, okra, black-eyed peas, peppers, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, summer squash, winter squash, tomatoes, turnips, and zucchini. All right, all of those can be planted. Now, a lot of these, particularly when we're talking about tomatoes, um, zucchini, um, peppers, let me think, anything else, and cucumbers, um, would be better if you're putting plants out right now. Now, you can still get the seeds to going, but if you haven't got the plants started yet, you might want to think about getting, you know, um, transplants from, you know, Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever you buy your transplants from. All right, like I said, with uh, that being said, let me show you around and show you all the different things I got growing that are on this list. Okay, so the first thing is bush beans. I do have some bush beans growing, and I planted them all along in this section right here. But you can see, hopefully, that's in, in the shadow a bit. But you see right there, that is one of those bush beans that has been chopped off. And I got another one right down there that has the same thing has happened. So I'm gonna have to replant on all of those and hopefully I'll get something happening. But I do have a few others here and there. Um, I had some over here somewhere. There's one back in there. And then there's a couple more right there. So I've got a few bush beans, but we're gonna plant some more of those today. That's all in my square foot garden. And then over here, the same kind of thing happened. I planted a whole row along here. And you can see I got one there and a few more down there, but now these are from my own seed. Some of them did get chopped off, but not all of them germinated. So I'm gonna plant some more, and that'll kind of spread out the harvest, hopefully, just a bit. But that's uh, the bush beans. And then I got a few pool beans over here. All right, so here in my other tomato garden, I have bush beans to hopefully put some, um, I'm sorry, these are pole beans, climbing beans, that will hopefully put a little more nitrogen back in the soil and help out the tomatoes I got up in here. There's some there, and another one over there. All right, well, another one is cantaloupe. So if you look real closely there, you can see the ring of cantaloupes that have just started to sprout up. And then what I'll do is I'll take the best four or five plants of that and let them grow and cut the rest of them back. All right, and then corn. You see my corn is actually doing pretty good so far. Hasn't gone crazy yet, but it's starting to grow nicely. And then we'll put some more pole beans in there with that once it gets up to about a foot tall or so. Maybe even some squash in there. Do the three sisters kind of thing. Cucumbers, I've got baby cucumbers there. I've got cucumbers over here. 
Those are actually the, my nicest ones. They're looking pretty good. I've got cucumbers up in this area here. You see them all along there, along with some of those um, um, cucumelons. And then I've got more over here. All of them are actually doing very, very well this year so far. So and then after that, the eggplant, i still got in pots. It hasn't come up yet. Okra, I don't typically plant. Um, and black-eyed peas, I've got some. I may plant here very shortly. Peppers, I've got all over the place. All right, so i got a lot of baby peppers. Like you can see that one right in there. And then I've got several others interspersed in, some, in amongst here. And then I've got bell peppers there that those are the ones from last year all right and then some more over there that is a jalapeno there which i bought now this is one thing so i, I got lucky with the cayenne peppers and when i bought that plant it came with a second plant but if you look down in there you can see something has chopped that plant off not sure what, but something definitely got it. Then I got some more peppers back in there and a few other small ones interspersed in amongst here. We're gonna have to take this some of the cilantro out so I can get some sun on those. But so far the peppers are doing very well. Sweet potatoes, I've got over here. Let me show you those. So this year I had saved three sweet potato plants from all my plants last year and they managed to survive. I've got one right here, and I'm going to try and grow them up out here in the food forest area. One is ground cover, but two, hopefully, they should grow well and uh, really spread all over the place. I've got another one back over in here, as you can kind of see. There's the vine, and then another vine over here. And then I got another one over on the other side. All right, and then summer squash. I have plenty of summer squash here. As a matter of fact, I'm fixing to take some of those out. Because uh, that's going to be way too many squash. And I'll probably leave three per circle there. I have not yet done winter squash. I'll probably get some of that planted here shortly. Got to figure out where I'm going to do it. Uh, tomatoes and collards. Well, my tomatoes, I got them all over the place. All right, you can see them all along that trellis there. And then this is my big color plant. Got a couple other smaller ones all, all over the place, but man, this, one, this one's got enough collars on it to keep me eating for a while. All right, and then I've got more tomato plants. You saw the ones that were over there by the beans, but I do have some tomato plants along here and then i got tomatoes there another one down there which you can notice it's actually got a fat tomato on it what kind is that? that's an acres plum and then i'm starting to get baby cherries on my sweeties see them up in there so i'm excited we're almost to uh, tomato picking time then i've got turnips if you see this line right there that is turnips and then over here is my tat soy which is coming up and looking good all right which i would probably add that to the list assuming that it all goes well so now another thing that i would recommend to get planted right now if you can get a hold of some is the longevity spinach right there it's a fantastic green that continues to grow throughout the uh, throughout the summer and this will actually stick around even in the heat. This has come back from last year's, and I got a couple other spots that's got it. And then the Malabar spinach, which I just did a video on the Malabar spinach and showing you what um, what I did and how I went about planting that. Then another nice tasty salad component, not really a green, but this is cranberry hibiscus. And I got those in pots and I'm going to put that small one in the ground here shortly 
I gotta figure out where I want to put the bigger one. But I'm also gonna take some of these lower branches down here. I'm gonna make cuttings and try and root those cuttings as well. I wanna get some more plants going. We had an issue last year where some of it had died off in the winter. We had a hard time getting it growing back. So I wanna make sure I've got plenty for next year. All right, so that's what to plant here in Northeast Florida in April. Um, this is the first part of April. And I wanna tell you that under the Almanac, it says the first through the fourth, which is today. So, I mean, you wanna start thinking about getting this stuff in the ground as soon as possible if you haven't already done so. All right, to go back through the list one more time, bush beans, pole beans, cantaloupes, corn, cucumber, eggplant, okra, black-eyed peas, peppers, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, summer squash, winter squash, tomatoes, collards, turnips, and zucchini. All right, and I've shown you pretty much, I've got most of this stuff with the exception of zucchini, uh, zucchini and uh, what was the other one? Black-eyed peas, which I have yet, I have yet to plant. I, I might plant some of those. Never been a real big fan of them, but hey, you know, if you're hungry, they'll make a turd. All right. Um, so in any case, that's what to plant here in Northeast Florida in April. I highly recommend you get something going in your yard and let's, let's get to growing, man. Um, it's a fantastic time of the year. It's a fantastic hobby or even a fantastic way to keep your family fed in rough times. All right, thanks once again for stopping by. Do me a favor, give me a like and a subscribe and let me know what you think. But most importantly, grow something. Get something growing in your yard. You'll thank yourself. All right, thanks once again. Y'all take care.